Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to hook up some solar panels to your F3800 power unit. So we were using the Anchor 405 watt solar panels. Today we're going to hook up six of them to our unit, which is more than what the system can use, but we're going to over panel our power unit so we can maximize the performance of our Anchor Solec. So I'm going to show you how to get that wired up, the proper way to do it without wrecking anything. So with these panels and this configuration, the maximum amount of input that you'll probably ever reach is about 1600 watts. That is because these panels are only rated for 40 volts. The maximum volt voltage input of the power unit is 60 volts. If you had a panel that was closer to 60 volts, you'd be able to reach a higher wattage, but you're going to be limited by the voltage because the lower the voltage, the higher the amperage. And the amperage rating on these units is only 25 amps. So if I'm only going to get the same amount of power, whether I do four panels or six panels, then why, you might ask, would I want to do six panels? Well, the reason why I'm going to do the extra panel on there is so that in the morning when the sun is not as intense and in the evening when the sun is not intense and also on cloudy days like today, I'll be able to capture more sunlight. And so I'll hit that 1600 watt peak quicker in the day and for a longer period of time, which will give me more charge time. So in turn, upping my production and reducing my energy bill. So a few things you're going to need in order to do this project are you're going to need your Y connectors both your male and female, and then obviously your connector to hook it up to the power unit. So all we're going to simply do is take from each panel, we're going to take the male end and plug it into the female end of this connector. And then we're going to do the same thing with the female end of this connector. So this is the last panel in, the, in line here. We're just going to hook it up. Okay, so now that I have all these panels hooked up individually to these connectors, all I need to do is hook this up to these connectors here and then plug this into the Anchor Solix. Now, obviously, I'm not going to run the Anchor Solix out here, so I have an extension cable run across the grass here, which I'll hook that up to this and then plug this into the unit in the garage. One of the advantages of having the lower voltage and higher amperage charge controller on the power unit is if I have a panel here on the end, let's say that this panel here is blocked by sun part of the day, then it will not affect the performance of the other two panels. Where if these were hooked up in series, meaning this one hooked into that one and then that one into that one, and then taking the end cords and plugging them into the unit, we'd one, we'd be over, over the volts of the unit, but on a different power unit that can handle that voltage, if you shade the one panel, it's gonna virtually kill the power to the entire string and you'll get no performance out of it. So one of the advantages of the lower voltage, higher amperage charge controller is that if you have a shaded panel, it will not affect the rest of the panels in the string. So in the perfect world, ideally what you would do with this setup is you would maybe have this end panel facing towards the east a little more and this end panel facing towards the west a little more. And then you'd be able to capture more of the morning sun and more of the evening sun to help even out your production levels. So this will plug into one of the ports on the solar generator. Then I have another string just like this leaning against the house. That will get its own connector and it'll be separate from this array and that'll plug into the other port on the F3800. So they'll be completely separate strings. They will not be hooked in series. They will just only be in parallel. All right, so I've got my solar panel wires coming in. Here is the panels I just showed you. We're bringing in about 1300 watts of solar and our output currently is 317 and we're up to 38% charge. So I have the solar panels leaning against the trailer and against the house for now. So in the next few weeks, what I want to do is build a wood shed and we're going to use the solar panels as our roof and not have any other roofing materials. So if you're curious about that project, hit that subscribe button, follow the channel so you get a notification when that video gets posted. Back in the garage, I have the F3800 and I've been using that for the past three or four months and I have had zero issues with it. No technical, no glitches, nothing, no software. I haven't had to do anything with it. I just set it and forget it. A lot of the other power units that I've tested out, and I use all my power units on a regular basis every day to test them out thoroughly. The Anchor Solex has not had any glitches with it, which has been pretty impressive. All the other units have had their own glitches and issues where I've had to reset them and start them up again. I also have my Anchor Solex hooked up to the smart home panel in the garage there, and that too has been working flawlessly. I've had that now for about a month and it's great because I don't have to think about if my batteries are dead, I need to go switch the switches. And I'm, you know, it does everything automatically and there's no need to switch any switches. I don't have to pay attention to the weather and know if I'm gonna have a sunny day or not to know what loads to turn on and turn off. It takes all the guesswork out of it, which is fantastic. So if you're thinking about getting a power unit, I would highly recommend the Anchor products. They have been phenomenal products. 
Again, no issues. These solar panels here are extremely rigid. I've tested out a few different panels in that 400 watt range, and these are by far much more rigid than the other panels. They weigh a little bit more, but they are a lot more sturdy. So if you found this video helpful and you enjoy doing solar stuff, learn more about it, hit that subscribe button and follow along to the channel. I like to post a video every couple of weeks, different tips and tricks I do around my homestead and also with the solar stuff. Thanks again for watching guys, and I hope you have a blessed day.